You want to get fabric mods in Minecraft 1.20.6 in order to have things like new mobs added, in order to have mini maps, in order to have biomes that are completely different in addition to Minecraft's vanilla biomes. It's incredible what you can actually do with fabric mods, or even maybe you just want a performance based mod like Sodium that uses fabric. It doesn't matter. Any Minecraft 1.20.6 fabric mod you'll be able to install with this video, so let's jump into it. First things first, you want to come here. This is the second link in the description down below. And it's our in-depth guide on getting fabric uh, as far as text goes. If you prefer text guides, this is here for you. But you're watching this video, so I'm guessing you don't. So go ahead and click on the Download Fabric button here to go to Fabric's official download page. On this page, what you want to do is click on this Download Universal Jar here. The reason we're clicking on that is because if you download it as the Universal Jar, it means you'll be able to easily install other Minecraft mods, things like that in the future. So just go ahead and click on Save here. And while this is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz sgh to start your very your own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods such as fabric mods, fabric mod packs, plugins, or customize the server any way that you want. Truthfully, it's your server, so you can do anything. That's add fabric mods, that's add forge mods, mod packs, and if you do want to add a mod pack, there's one-click mod pack installation at Simple Game Hosting. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down to XYZ slash SGH and start playing fabric mods with your friends the simple way. Nevertheless, fabric is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save it depending on your browser. We're also going to go ahead and download the fabric API. This is a fabric mod that's also linked in the description down below that a lot of mods need. I would say probably 80% of fabric mods need the fabric API, so it's important to just go ahead and get it because it doesn't hurt to install it. And again, it's linked in the description down below. Same thing, text guide here, but click this to go to CurseForge where we can go ahead and select files and then find the 1.20.6 version, which is right here at the top. Click the three dots and click download and it will begin after a few seconds. Now, this will work for any fabric mod for 1.20.6, so as long as your fat mod is for fabric and it's for the Minecraft version 1.20.6, it will work. The two mods we're going to be installing in this video are Xero's Minimap and Block Us. Starting with Xero's Minimap, it's uh, linked in the description that will take you to the in-depth guide on it, but once you're here on the download page, just click on Files. I do want to mention, you want to make sure you're downloading the fabric version here because uh, NeoForge isn't going to work. Normal Forge isn't going to work. You need the fabric version of the mod, which is right up here at the top. As you can see, fabric and for version 1.20.6. Click the three dots and click download, and it will download just like everything else we've downloaded, such as the Fabric API via Curse Forge. Now, the last thing I want to download here is the Block Us mod. I do want to mention, Fabric API is required for it, right? And it's not uncommon for other mods to be needed as well. For example, at the beginning of the video, we showed Biomes Aplenty. That needs a mod called Terra Blender, a library mod that is needed in order for it to work. So be on the lookout for that. If you launch up Minecraft, it's not working. It might be because one of the mods you've installed needs another mod in order to work. But for Block Us, we'll go ahead and click on Files. This is only for Fabric, so no worries about making the mod loaders correct, but we do have 1.20.6 here. Click the three dots and click Download. With that finished, we have everything downloaded here. So we have, if we go to our Downloads folder, the Fabric Installer, which is actually the Fabric Mod Loader itself, the Fabric API, Xero's Minimap, and Block Us. We're going to move all of this to our desktop just because, well, that's the easiest way to manage a lot of files like this. They're not going to stay on your desktop forever. By the end of this video, they won't be there anymore. There we go. The files are now on our desktop, and we can see here there's the Fabric Installer, and here are all of our mods. We're going to be starting off with the Fabric Installer. So right click on it, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Or you do have Java here and you clicked OK and it didn't work. Well, that means you need Java 21. And if you've already got Java there, it's because you probably don't have the correct version, which is Java 21. As of Minecraft 1.20.6, you now need Java 21 in order for you to be able to install mods. So in the description down below, we have this. Come here, click download, and get the Windows download for Java 21. All of this is covered here in this guide. But again, you need Java 21 for Minecraft 1.20.6 mods to be able to work. After you get Java, you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files to your computer and link them to Java 21. But step one is obviously getting Java 21. Once you've done that, though, you will be able to install Fabric. So right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. It is important to mention before we click install that Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher need to be closed when you're doing this. 
But as you can see, 1.20.6 is selected. We can go ahead and click install, and it will say successfully installed. If it doesn't, it may be because you've not played Minecraft 1.20.6 before. If that's the case, just open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and you're good to go. But nevertheless, we can now go ahead and click OK, and we are done. We can close out of the fabric installer. Let's go ahead and get our fabric mods installed. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. But do not play Minecraft. You actually can install and should install fabric mods without opening up Minecraft because you can't access the mods folder from in Minecraft with fabric mods. You'll see what I mean here in a second. It's really easy. What we want to do is come up here to installations and then we want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if the mod is not checked, we don't have this fabric loader profile, but once it is, we have it there. If you still don't have it, or it's for not the right version, so it's not for 1.20.6, click new installation here, and then you can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com, because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends, even fabric mods with your friends, and then click the versions drop-down box here. Here you'll see release fabric loader 1.20.6. Click on that, and then I'm going to change the resolution just so we can see once we get in game, and click create. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has Fabric Loader 1.20.6 as the version. But again, don't play Minecraft yet because once you find your Fabric Loader 1.20.6 installation on the installations tab, hover over it and click the folder icon that appears. That's going to open up your Minecraft folder here. In here you should have a mods folder, but if you don't, like I don't have a mods folder, just go ahead and right click and create a new folder and title it mods, M-O-D-S all lowercase exactly like that. Open your mods folder and drag and drop any Minecraft 1.20.6 fabric mods you want to install right here into this mods folder, right like so. Now we can come back to the Minecraft launcher and we want to hover over the installation and click play and click play again. I mean the fabric installation and play Minecraft using that. Anytime you want to play Minecraft with your fabric mods, you'll want to use the fabric installation. I'll go ahead and show you on the main menu that everything is working and we're good to go. Our fabric mods are now installed. So here we are in Minecraft. Now, as I mentioned, there's no way to see fabric mods from a mods button or anything like that. So what we want to do is just create a new world here. I'm going to go ahead and just name this fabric 1.20.6. Obviously, it doesn't matter. And in game, we'll quickly be able to see that we do have our mods installed and working. So we can see in the top right up here that sure enough, our mini map is loading in. If we, uh, you know, were to fly in a certain direction or not fly, I guess a ball to a certain direction, it will continue loading in that direction. We can go into game mode creative where we can fly. And this is going to be the easiest way to be able to see block us. So if we go ahead and click this page over. We can see block us and all the different stuff that's adds in here. For example, we've got like this kitchen tile style thing. Thing. We've got these custom building blocks. I mean, so much amazing stuff that Block Us adds in if you're a builder. It's one of the best builder mods, in my opinion, just because of all the cool stuff it adds in. For example, you can make this the floor and make this the walls if you wanted to. It doesn't, it doesn't look great, but, you know, it's something, and it's something you couldn't do in vanilla Minecraft. So let us know in the comment section down below what your favorite fabric mod is and the mod you're going to be installing with this video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Also, let us know if you have any issues, anything like that. And give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if we did help you install fabric mods. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.